when we're, when we're faithful to God, God will be faithful to us. Mr. Eric. <laughs> the first time I came to the hills, I left feeling like I had found home. My name is Eric Richter and I have been a part of the hills for a little over a year now. The first few weeks that I started going to the hills, John was doing a message on serving in the house of God and the importance of getting plugged in to your local church. And he talks about uh, the verse that says that those that are planted in the house of the Lord will flourish. And that has been so true. I have seen God's love <laughs> so much in my life, just the blessings and everything just from being planted. And you, when you go and serve, you're obviously sacrificing your giving. Like, giving and serving are so tied together because they're the same thing. It all comes down to obedience and faithfulness. And when you're obedient and faithful, that's when God is able to bless you. But not only bless you, He's able to use you to bless other people. I feel like I have been shown more and taught more from the children that I teach than I could ever teach them. They teach me how to, um, to love and to just see the world differently. There's something about just being able to show up and help usher in the kingdom of God. We're there to prepare the way for someone else to come into God's kingdom. And when we keep that in mind, it makes all of the hard stuff not seem like it's anything at all. Um, and I've had time after time where a parent will tell me about how their child was singing a song that we were teaching them in class, or they're <laughs> evangelizing their preschool. <laughs> or they're reading their Bible to their stuffed animals and telling them that God loves them. And that means so much because it means that getting up early every Sunday and dealing with the craziness and wanting to pull my hair out some days, it's literally worth it because these children are able to know that God loves them. <laughs> to your